85. A favorite. By night we lingered on the lawn, for underfoot the herb was dry, a genial warmth, and o'er the sky the silvery haze of summer dawn, and calm that let the tapers burn unwavering, not a cricket jerred. The brook alone far off was heard, and on the board a fluttering urn. And bats went round in fragrant skies, and wheeled or lit the filmy shapes that haunt the dusk, with ermine capes and woolly breasts and beaded eyes. While now we sang old songs that pealed from knoll to knoll, where, couched at ease, the white kind glimmered, and the trees laid their dark arms about the field. But when those others, one by one, withdrew themselves from me and the night, and in the house light after light went out, and I was all alone, a hunger seized my heart. I read of that glad year which once had been, and those fallen leaves which kept their green, the noble letters of the dead. And strangely on the silence broke, the silent speaking words. And strange was love's dumb cry, defying change to test his worth. And strangely spoke the faith, the vigor, bold to dwell on doubts that drive the coward back, and keen through wordy snares to track suggestion to her inmost cell. So word by word and line by line, the dead man touched me from the past, and all at once it seemed at last the living soul was flashed on mine. And mine in this was wound and whirled about imperial heights of thought. And came on that which is, and caught the deep pulsations of the world. Aeonian music measuring out the steps of time the shocks of chance, the blows of death. At length, my trance was cancelled, stricken through with death. Vague words, but ah, how hard to frame in matter molded forms of speech, or even for intellect to reach through memory that which I became. Till now, the doubtful dusk revealed knolls once more where couched to ease. The white kind glimmered, and the trees laid their dark arms about the field. And sucked from out the distant gloom, a breeze began to tremble o'er the large leaves of the sycamore, and fluctuate all the still perfume, and gathering fleshlier overhead, rocked the full-foliaged elm and swung the heavy-folded rose, and flung the lilies to and fro, and said, the dawn, the dawn, and died away. And east and west, without a breath, mixed their dim lights, like life and death, to broaden into boundless day. Just delightfully good. <laughs>